I'm using CMD in fact. So this is our local environment. Um, run server. So I have started the server and if we see the local test application, this is how it looks. It has the home page, about page, we have the sign up page and the login page. Just a simple quick application. So from the application here, we want to upload it to the panel and see what we have. For this case, I'm going to create a subdomain for, for it. And I shall call it test from our notes here. So the su subdomain shall be test. It has created the subdomain correctly. So the next part is to go and create a new Python application. I have a whole series on how to upload a, a Django application online. So I shall link the video in the description below. So we need to create a new application here. So create new. The first thing you want to check is the Python version. Don't use 2.7 because some recent packages, maybe Django itself can fail. So you need to use the right version. Use 3.7.1 to reason being 3.86 and 3.910 are not so stable and some packages may fail to run on them. So let's uh, set the application route here. So the application route I shall set it to 500 test. Virtually I've done it on 4.4 test only to realize that uh, we have everything wrong in the first place. So let me adjust my code here a little bit. So in the templates, then the components, base.html, this should be the 500 test. And the index page, let's actually adjust this one from the HM page and say h1. H1 and say 500 internal server error solving. So 500 internal error server. So we continue here in the setting up the application. So you need to choose the right URL here, mine is test. The rest just leave them the way they are and uh, create. So let's give it some few minutes to create this. So this error does not only come uh, with a Django application, but also with the Node.js applications because they are served from um, some sort of a singular page. So let's see how the application looks like. So it says it works Python 3.7.12. That's the default, uh, actually the default uh, view that you receive after setting up the Python application. So the first thing you want to do is to zip and upload the application online. So I'm going to select all the folders here and add to an archive. Remember to use a .zip, not a .rarol, .rarol5. They are not supported on this panel. Close. So we need to upload this test project .zip online. So let's go back and to the C, C panel file manager. Identify the root. Uh, identify the root. Uh, Identify your root uh, folder. The root folder should be 500 test. So I need to reload this. So let me go to the home. Here it is. This is my root 500 test. This is the uh, folder I passed here. So here you need to upload the file, file here. So click on the upload button. It will open this page. Navigate to the the place where your zip file is. Select it and upload it. It should upload quickly. Okay, and reload. It all depends on the size of your zip file. So extract here. 
so this is how it looks like i don't need the zip file anymore and just delete it and um, like this if i reload the page you realize that there are more folders here so for i to continue with my settings let me stop my application always stop the application to avoid any um, conflicts on the way so come back to your file manager identify passenger dot uh, passenger underscore WSJ file and edit it so the other video I have explained on how this works so remember to check it out using the link on the description or the card at the end of the this video so the first thing we wanna see here is uh, our application startup file is the WS, the passenger underscore WSJ pi dot pi file. So this is the uh, application startup file, but the application entry point. This is like the first uh, main application that will really will run will run whenever um, this URL is visited. So let's actually adjust this. So if you look at the this uh, file, the function define application is the one that's uh, running our that that actually responded with it works by on 3.7 so what i want to do here is to import the application from where it is so from test project dot wsgr import application and I save the file so let me view, show you the test project so if i go to the test project folder dot wsj file i get this application uh, variable here so it's the one finding our um, application thing so that's what it is so let's actually go back so we have imported the application and I saved the changes we can close the file since we no longer really need it we have passed in the right um, folder and the right file the next thing you want to do is to make migration okay not to make migration really but to install the requirements file requirements.txt remember to pass in the right file or the right part to the file where the requirements file is and run pip install the path should start from 500 test so maybe if it's five in 500 tests slash requirements folder slash requirements dot txt that's the part the part that you should give so let's give it some time to install so to check whether it has installed our um, requirements so you can just go here follow this path down to site packages you can see there are no much of this so if i check out these uh, others let's give it some time to do the installation process and what if you leave this page before it has finished installing you wanna find the dot lock file and delete it for you to be able to start afresh so if you come to your virtual environment and they click the environment you want here under 3.7 you wanna actually shoot the hidden files in order to see the dot log file this one if it's it's here and you are trying to install the application the requirements the modules again it will fail in this case you exited the page without uh, your knowledge so remember to delete the, the dot log file and they start installing again so from the notification or the alert you can see it has said that it has installed so i can uh, confirm that one by going to lib by 3.7 site packages yes our site packages are here correctly so let me hide the hidden files so it has installed the site packages if i may start the application so this is what we had before but let's reload the page and see what we have now so we have our application up 
on the test.livesoftwaredeveloper.com equally it's like this one of the offline version but let's see the differences so i click on the about page i get internal server error i go back i click on the sign up page i get the internal server error so this is the error i'm talking about you have just uploaded your application but somehow all the urls of the home url are returning internal server error so how can we solve this one first of all i want to go back to my application here and I set my error file so standard underscore error dot log so it's dalmasonto then 500 test then i need to save this so i can restart the, the application to make sure yeah it has restarted so let's go to 500 test and i try to see it has not uh, brought about the 500 test and uh, the error file so let's reload the page and reload here somehow the file usually takes some time to appear here so you might need to paste uh, an error prone page for it to come about so this is the error prone page let's go back and reload the page no okay it's not coming up but let's make migrations to see whether the migrations are the ones causing the problem so manage.py migrate since the manage.py file is in the same folder as the rest so let's migrate it has run the migrations correctly to the SQLite database so let's try to see if the error is gone if i still go to the about page still the error is the same so let's solve the error so you, what you want to do is to identify the subdomain or the domain you are using currently so this is just a folder not the domain that you are using so i need to go to public underscore html and find the subdomain our subdomain are virtually test but look at this um not all c panels write the subdomains into public underscore html some c panel uh, c panels always use their um, subdomains offside the this uh, outside the public underscore html so identify where your subdomain or a domain is then go to the domain route where there is the cgi bin folder this shows this um, subdomain so we are in the red part the next thing you want to do here is to show the hidden files so as you access the ht access file so edit the dot ht access file so it has given us some um, few things here to start off with yeah so all of them are here but there is these settings here that shows our application route and application uh, route so i guess you can see like between line that three and that six do not remove do not remove so passenger route this is the 500 test passenger base you arise this one and passenger python environment is here and passenger log file it's here so remember these are uh, required for you to run this uh, application but we need to adjust this um, file in order to remove the 500 internal server error so how are we going to do this one so for this i found a quick solution first we want to do check whether there is this right we want to check whether there is this uh, mod rights dot c i guess for the guys who know how to use the dot ht access file can know better about this one but we want to check whether this there is this module this one will allow us to rewrite so it's it's actually checking whether there is this module module dot rewrite this help will help us write our urls so after checking if it exists we want to close the if module 
so I'll, I'll just close it here if there is this module module that right dot condition i guess i don't know dot c then we want to activate the right engine like this so we activate the right engine the next portion is actually to start from the base right base you can see where the right base URI is that's the URI thing is and write the condition so we are going to write the three conditions here let me just copy them and paste them here I can't really explain further about the how this works but from the view of things it, it's like helping to write the file name I guess some uh, flags here you can find them uh, somewhere and uh, learn more about them so we are we have just written the base to accept all the rest of the files that's what we have actually done here I don't know how this how to explain further how to explain this further deep down but just to copy this and paste in your dot .ht access file of the subdomain you are using and save the file then after you have done that you need to stop the application and start it again so we have uh, started the application let's uh, see let's reload to see whether the home page is still working yeah the home page is still working correctly so let's go to the about page now this round you realize that uh, our pages are responding as we expect and the login page so I don't know how this solves our problem but it does remember this also solves problems with the um, AnnoyDS applications such as React, Vue, Ionic and the rest anything that is built using Node if you try to access a default Node application um, not uh, okay let me show you a default for example budgetary.lifesoftwaredeveloper.com just a simple budgetary app so it's a, actually a react application i don't know why it's not really responding okay it's loading let's give it some time let me see any errors okay no errors so far okay i guess my computer was having some few problems so let's give it some time to load I have actually never opened this application since I uploaded, I uploaded it here so this is the application if I go to the home page I can be able to reload the page or no this incomes page I can be able to reload and return it with the right uh, URL but this after I had adjusted the .ht access and pasted this um, condition there so this condition uh, should actually be adjusted adjusted a little bit now instead of right base it should be something else so let me show you how it looks like so public underscore html then i'll identify my application that's budgetary and go to the dodge hd access file edit edit so i had to write this condition using this one now it's not uh, it starts right base but right right rule starts from the index dot something html file and ends at the index html file so this for the node.js application since most of them use the public then index dot html file so this is how the rule goes you have to adjust the HTTP access to for you not to receive the internal server errors but for the um, react applications i was receiving i guess for, for 
or false error page not found so i had to find out how to solve the error and this is the solution also it works for the python application so you just copy and you need to move uh, adjust the file the dot access file to have this condition in so in the description i'm going to include the two the two conditions to adjust the files in order to avoid the 500 or the 404 error that you might encounter on reloading the page by default if i go to budget it would have worked fine but then let's just actually hide these changes so i go to the dashboard i reload the page the dashboard is working correctly i go to the income page now this is a different route i reload the page i get internal server error so if you want to avoid such errors remember to include this one in your dot ht access file i need to save the file and reload the page you see the error is now gone so remember to adjust the dot ht access file and write the using the right condition rule so guys thank you for watching and remember to support my channel i'm at 457 subscribers and my current target uh, is a thousand subscribers so guys help me reach this uh, subscriber threshold of a thousand uh, i will be glad actually as we help each other so help me achieve my target thank you